going to check out the Noble Collection again. I know I covered it at Comic-Con. Not a lot of you check that out, but I think you're missing out on all the great items offered by the Noble Collection. So why don't I take you through because they have a much expanded product line here. So we're going to start off with their Minecraft products, and they have quite a bit of amazing things. I mean, they have chess sets. They have props that light up here, like uh, you get bottles, you got torches, you have ore. I mean, if you're a Minecraft fan, this is just a great way to get some of that um, Minecraft goodness going on in your room, uh, including those torches that flicker. I mean, it's got a great, great remodeling of that 8-bit here, and everything just looks amazing. Um, so you're really missing out if you haven't found these products yet. Um, they have a whole variety of things. You can even get a little blind boxes and these um, inventory chests that have different parts of the biome in them, but you could buy actual pieces. Uh, here's a little sense of how much these cost, if you guys are wondering. Uh, so these are all coming soon, uh, but if you're a Minecraft fan, it is a good year to be a Minecraft fan. Here is just a, a quick sense of the variety of products they have in the Harry Potter line. We showed you a bunch of goblets and other items uh, at previous shows, uh, but this is just, I mean, look, they even have a squishy Harry Potter birthday cake. They have that amazing sorting hat over here. Uh, so again, if you're a Harry Potter fan, there's a lot of stuff for you to pick up from the Noble Collection. Uh, while we were over in um, uh, covering, uh, not comic, Celebration in London, we stopped by uh, one of the, the, I think it was the Harrods, and they have like a whole floor dedicated to the Noble Collection for Harry Potter. I mean, there is just so much stuff. There's masks, there's wands, tons and tons and tons of wands. Um, there's wizard chests, there's uh, little boxes of characters, uh, there's plushies. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So if you are a fan of Harry Potter, you could pretty much get anything you want from the Noble Collection. Um, and they, I think it extends out into the newer mediums as well. Uh, of course, over here we have Avatar. They do cover other things besides Harry Potter. Uh, so you get to see these great bendy figs. Uh, these are different than bendums. Um, I saw these mostly in the UK. I haven't seen these a lot here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but you can get them through some of their uh, online distributors. And they got everything from horror to uh, kids' classics favorites in here as well. And back here, we got some of the dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park line. Uh, oh, can never get enough dinosaurs. Uh, and of course, chess, that's one of their bread and butter. So they have different versions of the characters, uh, more classic, and then a, a painted look as well. Uh, and then they have these little uh, display uh Highly detailed, highly arti or not articulated, highly detailed characters and these display bases, and just some more great plush like the ET. Uh, not just one ET, but small ET, uh, dressed up ET. Uh, so just like a lot of variety of products, uh, and they never just stop at one. So you even got Universal Monsters, which I can never get enough of. I mean, everyone I feel like is doing Universal Monsters these days, uh, and they also have some in the in the prop line as well. Like over here, you'll see the Flash ring. You'll see the Batman cowl from, uh, I believe this might be from the Flash. And then you get the Harley Quinn prop leprechaun bat with all that great detail on there. Uh, and then we're back again to our Minecraft, which we just saw. But then you got some eggs from Lord of the, or not Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry, Game of Thrones. <laughs> so you get the dragon eggs. You got the, uh, I think this is the Da Vinci Code. Um, forgot what that was called, the, the little cipher. You get the ring, the one ring from Lord of the Rings. I'm sure they sell more than one, though. Uh, you have uh, Jumanji, which I believe this is like one of the most accurate sets to the uh, the 1990s film that you get. Um, I, I believe I've seen some pictures of this online, and it absolutely nails it. It's got all the artwork on it. It's got It's made out of wood. It's got all the carvings. Of course, the pieces don't move themselves, but it's still pretty cool that it's this great replica of the uh, of the game, um, really nice to be able to see that. And you could put the cards into the uh, the little bubble there, so when they transfer through it, it, it will gl it will come through and make it look like you're reading it through the crystal. Um, and then they have this very odd tiered uh, chess set from Star Trek. So uh, really, some world building here. But I hope this gave you just a great sense of the breadth of products offered here by the Noble Collection. And that wraps us here for in the Noble Collection coverage. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything, including all those fantastic upcoming Minecraft products. 
I mean, that's simply just amazing to be able to have pieces of that world that you could set up in your house. Uh, if you want to do a whole tall hallway with those torches, you can. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, it just helps you build out your own little 8-bit uh, world. And I hope you appreciated getting a look at what the Noble Collection has to offer. Uh, so that's all for this time. Like, subscribe, and follow. And we'll see you guys at the next booth.